Like, holy crap, I'm no longer depressed. Do people keep pills in their pantry? Where do they keep pills? That was such a weird way to say that. Okay, I'm depressed, this sucks. <laughs> Trickle of happiness, I wanna be like blasted with happiness. Hey guys, so since you clicked this video, I'm gonna assume that you wanna know one of three things. One, does the happy lamp even work? Two, how does it work? And three, if I have anxiety and depression issues, what the heck can I do about them? Because it really sucks. And I get it, I am a avid user of the Happy Light. I have been for five years now. So you came to the right place. I can't wait to talk about this. I also had way too much caffeine today. Uh, so I'm excited to do this. <laughs> and uh, anyways, let's get on to the video. Of course, my battery is blinking and dying. So if you've watched my videos for a while, you know that I never choose the right battery. So I'm going upstairs. Bing! Just knocked over my tripod. What the heck, buddy? What do you have against my YouTube channel? He wants attention. Anyways, I'm gonna go change the battery up before this dies. Story of my life. I'm back and fully charged and I brought my little happy light. I just wanna show you guys in case you didn't know what it looked like. Uh, it's this thick. They do come a lot thinner now. This is five years old. I actually got it from my dad. He bought it at Costco. I don't know if they do sell them still at Costco, but you can definitely buy them online. They're absolutely everywhere. Even Amazon delivers them. There's gonna be an abundance of quality items for you to purchase if you really want it. That was such a weird way to say that. Uh, but yes, you can purchase them online. I don't know why I was trying to sound more professional than I really am, let's be honest. But how this thing works is that it actually mimics the sunlight but without the harmful UV rays. So when you do it, especially in the morning, turn this on and the sunlight, obviously not real sunlight, but uh, it helps you produce serotonin, which makes you happy. That is like what you want in your system, of course. Um, and then that actually helps regulate your melatonin, which is what you want when you sleep. So overall, it's really good to help regulate your system in your body, which is super important for both waking up happy and going to bed at a decent time. You know what I mean? So when I first got this thing, I heard that it's supposed to help you relax and just be very focused and things like that. And to be honest, I didn't really understand how it would relax me. But then when I think about it, when you're like, say in Cuba or Dominican and you're on a beach and soaking up the sun, like I'm super relaxed. And it, yes, part of it is just because you know, you're like drinking and you're with your friends and things like that. That is very fun. But like at the end of the day, it's like just sitting there with like the warmth on your skin. Like, you know that feeling you have sunscreen on and you can like hear the waves. Like it's a freaking vibe. So I understand how this would make you relax just because it makes me so freaking happy. My most commonly asked question is how it makes me feel. So I always explain it by, I don't just turn it on and then I'm like, bam, wow, I'm so freaking happy. Like that's really not it. It's mostly just a maintenance thing. So I have really bad seasonal depression. I always have, it sucks so bad, but now I know how to manage it. Ever since I got this light, I always turn it on, say at, at my office or around the kitchen, in the bathroom when I'm getting ready in the morning, anywhere that you're gonna be for a period of time that you know that you're gonna stay in that general area, I would just flip it on. And basically what it does is with mimicking that sunlight, Normally you get home when it's dark, you leave when it's dark. That's really freaking depressing for a lot of people, uh, whether you suffer with seasonal depression or not. So those people that do suffer with SAD, it really, really sucks. So this helps just maintain and get sunlight every single day. So it's just a progressive thing where you're just like, wow, I feel good, I'm not sad, like this is awesome. Uh, and then I find when I don't have it on, I'm like, okay, I'm depressed, this sucks. <laughs> so it's like, yes, it definitely works, but it's not like this big, huge moment that people are expecting where you flip it on and you're like, holy crap, I'm no longer depressed. So don't have that expectation and you won't be disappointed. I did want to mention that there's two settings on the happy light that I have, but I always keep mine on high because my thought on it is like, I might as well utilize its energy when it's in front of me. So if I have it on and I'm putting it in the room, I want like full blast. Like I don't want no like trickle of happiness. I want to be like blasted with happiness. So that's why I always just turn it on high. Uh, so I never turn it on low, but I don't really know if it would like help as much. I'm assuming it would help half as much. And why wouldn't you want to be double the happiness? You know, that's my theory on it. I don't know if that makes any sense to anyone else, but yeah, I would just turn it on high, you know, like what's it going to hurt? Absolutely nothing. You'll be more happy. That's great. While I still have your attention, I want to discuss some things that I also take along with my happy lamp to basically help my journey. So the first one is vitamin D3. 
just had to make sure this is facing the English side. Vitamin D3. So on the bottle it says just to take one. So that would equal 1000 IU. And because I suffer with seasonal depression, my naturopath actually recommended that I take 7000 IU. So don't be afraid to talk to your doctor or your naturopath and up the limit because, you know, a thousand IU might be like good for in the summer on a sunny day and like being healthy that way. But when you're like in the midst of negative 42 weather with no sunshine at all, you need more of this. So uh, yeah, I would just, I don't want to be the one to say it. So like I would say, go talk to your physician or someone else. I recommend getting a natural path because they're the best. But yeah, get some vitamin D3. Another supplement that I love is this mental calmness, but this is awesome. It actually says on the bottle that it promotes deep relaxation and mental clarity, and oh my gosh, does it ever. This is great. I actually use this when I'm having really bad anxiety and I just need to calm down, especially before bedtime, where like, you know when your mind's racing and you're like, holy crap, and you can't like stop overthinking something, this is great for that. I take usually just like one whenever I'm feeling like it. It's not something that I take every day. So get this, it's a great thing to have in your little pantry. Pantry? Do people keep pills in their pantry? Where do they keep pills? I keep mine in the bathroom, so wherever. Pantry, bathroom, no judgment. And last but not least, I am so passionate about this one. I talk about it all the time and it is 5-HTP. Uh, if you've been following my journey getting off hormonal birth control, I talk a lot about that and basically having really, really bad depression the week before my period. I forget what the term is called, but it is, uh, it is common in women to have that and it's really hard. It's like you're way more depressed than normal. I was actually suicidal. It was the worst experience ever and it went on for months and I really needed something to help me. So this was like honestly a lifesaver and I really really liked it so I would take it basically two weeks before my period uh, so that it was like a week before my struggling week and it would get in my system and it make me super happy I would take one at night one in the morning and it was wicked and then basically as soon as I had my period I'd be happy and good to go which is very ironic because you'd think with my period that's when I would like need it but no I was like super happy once I actually got it it was just that week prior was hell so freaking buy this just have it as a like a supplement or a staple again talk to your doctor or naturopath and then just see what they recommend um, if this would be like a good fit for you Hey guys, apparently I didn't make a conclusion to this video, so this is officially it. I'm just editing it now and realizing that I have no idea what my train of thought was. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, it really supports me, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!